Uh, yesterday we have created one of the general right by using you know UI and the same general we have to every day template. Now we'll see you know more scenarios on this general every day process, most failure scenarios, and we'll see how to reprocess scenario right. So create a new sheet, try to you know failure the data. Something takes inventory and currency code, you may populate something one one and takes inventory, you can provide something one which is not exist inventory and category also you can provide something one and now you can change, you know, in segment one, which is 20. Now we are populated some incorrect data like segment one, which is 20, currency code, general category, and general source, which is, you know, failure record. And the second one record is successful record. Create one more record here. There is a positive scenario, this one. And change the general name. Here you can change the root. And the expected scenario is, or it gets failed. Now first general. And second general should be in a process, or it will it will not be processed, we'll see. How it's going try to process, you know, generate CSV data and this is our GL code. Now it's time to submit page one. Get tools <coughs> and schedule process, schedule new process, and here load in load interface file for import will you know insert the data into the interface table as an SQL business entity. Here our import process is import our import journals and you can select the data file file just submit. Meanwhile, we'll select, you know, report to verify the data and interface tables. New data model out from GL interface 9091 some new data. Transfer file is submitted. Now load file to interface also submitted. Now it's trying to insert the data and interface table completed. Stage one is completed. You can verify the data and in interface table. Now four records are there with status new. Now it's try to sub stage two and source is you know, inventory, right? So this is AX inventory. Here we are provided. Here we are provided AX inventory one. So the record itself is not identified from your interface table to you know your base process. Your main process does not identify against the source you know for inventory one, which is not uh, exist in your system. So here you could see one nine zero nine one. Just you can try to submit the process. Whatever AX inventory one, which is the first record, we remain same as the status new. Now it's a warning status. It's warning. Then just you can you know here view the data. See here. The 19091, 19091, okay. Interface group identifier 19091. There are two records are updated with the B status. One record is new status, and one more record is some B state, okay. Nothing but whatever P status is updated, these are successfully validated and it's ready to move to your base tables. But along with this, there is an error data is available, same source. So partial data will not move to your base table until you correct you know, all the records. Against your source, if any partial data is validated, it should it remains in winter and it's updated P status. Now here EU0 is there. What is the error EU0? Now we'll try to verify the error here. Just select your import general style. There is an attachment log file. You can download the log file or the file. This is your text file, the complete history of your you know loading, how the data was loaded and what are the errors those. <coughs> now this is your source AX inventory, your group ID and the status is error. Total lines three, total batch total headers two, unbalanced batch. This one now we are unbalanced batch error but ax inventory one you know which is an a debit amount which is not equal to credit amount of ax inventory line then it's you are getting you know this is error code eu02 here you can find the error code e2 against these error codes you can find what is the error information here you can find all the error codes and their related error you know the error uh, name what is the error here? Now say EP01 for example. This date is not an open or future interval period. If your uh, calendar period is not open, get EP01. Okay. And the date is not a business day. If you have provided an invalid date, then you make 04. In our case, we got you know E02 nothing but here too. the journal ends unbalanced and suspense posting is not allowed in this ledger. Nothing but debits and credits not well. The reason we are getting unbalanced entries error. The way you get all the errors, like now for example, here there are invalid current so eight and amount is too large and something you know invalid category also have. Okay, anyway, we'll get now we do have you know one error, which is this line is successfully you know processed nothing but this line is validated but for this line there is an error eu02 that is which is we are encountered one of the issue right now how do we reprocess these records to reprocess these records oracle is provided two ways for us one is adf desktop integrator or okay by using adf desktop integrator spreadsheet you can verify this data and you can correct the interface table data in the spreadsheet itself 
and you can reprocess by using spreadsheet otherwise just you can purge the purge this data purge this interface table purge is nothing but just delete your data against your group ID, your load request ID. This is load request ID. Against this load request ID, you can submit, you know, purge interface program ESA job against your import journal. So that against this load request ID, your records get deleted. Again, you can correct your data and re import the data. Same as stage one stage. Here, hopefully, now first we'll see how to correct the data by using ADF desktop integrator ADF DIC ADF DIC one of the plugins same as your publisher same as your BAP publisher but when you install your BAP publisher you could see BAP publisher add in is enabled in your you know excel sheet right or word sheet but here when you install ADF DA plugin it won't enable on your you know excel and your uh, especially if it's only for Excel plugin, okay, and it won't always enable on your Excel sheet. When you download your ASTOP with a spreadsheet, at that moment, uh, the whatever Oracle enable <coughs> plugin features are there, those we could see along with the sheet. Now, that is, we'll see to install ADF DA plugin here, download desktop integration tool here in the tools. In the tools here we do have download desktop integration installer just you can install this or install this plugin to your local so that it can enable your adf ba plugin so after installation just navigate again general account genders here general accounting and journals and here the task which is you know correct import errors correct import errors just click on you know correct import errors here you are getting downloaded one of the spreadsheet file just open this spreadsheet when you open this spreadsheet okay it will prompt you to connect your application it will download the spreadsheet along with your application url and it will try to prompt to connect the application you are able to connect to the following application url which is our instance we want to connect until unless you are not connecting your uh, login uh, your application here you are not able to any ADF DA features here. When you connect, then only here one of the plugins can be enabled for us. Same as your application logins. For this, what rules are required for us? Rules are not required. Directly it can add to your uh, nothing but it's uh, you know in a in the security security and rules have been covered, right? Some of the duty rules we do have this. Just if you don't want, you can exclude by default, you will get this feature. If you don't want this correct errors against your user, just you can ex privilege role to against now here you could see correct journal import data one of the menu get added for our script a login logout clear all data monitor jobs once you submitted yes jobs you can verify here itself and you can search the data you can upload the data into our app and status we are but if any you know error syntax errors are there throw an error you know, to validate your data but here yeah. select the ledger okay and source you can select and double click on this you know column just double click on the column when you are lov journal source lov here yeah. AX inventory is our AX inventory. Just click on AX inventory here. Group ID again 0 nine one group id here just click on a search try to get the data or it will try right off from your interface table now here eu 0 to p one of the error record only it will try to fetch your error record saying one of the error records is there in your interface group id as so okay, this is eu 0 which is you know one of the error and what is the eu 0 to error is not here there is a tab error here you can find 0 to error this journal entry is unbalanced and sometimes posting is not allowed in this edge as of now we are populated ax inventory one so it's not at all you know uh getting your record your spreadsheet itself so it's not possible to correct your data by using spreadsheet template just you can delete the data by using purging cons here again general import delete import data there is an option delete import data data access it is our ledger source is ax inventory here you could say all your interface table sources these are interface available sources here you could see LOV values nothing but whatever interface as of now these guys are interface table just select ax inventory and against for this ax inventory it's saying there is load record 477870 here you can verify something 477860 something so this is not a uh, request ID here with this process ID will submit the process ledger uh, so on so and 19091 is our group ID request ID this is your request ID number 4787 what is request ID CM ID or no friend that is a while submitting process ID that is loaded right 47786 for general process ID child group request ID load request 
2477862 load request load file to in the 477 why we are seeing the different load type this one right 2477862 the load request type and the value 477870 okay this is your you know main import ESA job now you can pause the data just here you can just refresh here delete general import data ESA job get submitted or that is the one way or if you want to submit the uh, or if you want to pause the data here itself here there is a common merge interface program is available for us inter DSS job merge interface table here you can select four journals your process you can select import process for journal to be a load request is just you can copy your load request ID here for journals and here you can provide the load request or if you want to delete the data between the load request ID ranges just enable this checkbox and you can provide you know start and end date start and load request ID and just submit the process so that it will delete the data Data against your GL interface against your load request type. Now there is no data in your you know this table. Now data is empty. Just correct your data and before that here search your you know spreadsheet. Just search it. You won't find any data against your group identifier against so look. Just try to update here whole resource which is eligible now is eligible to process right. Along with this, we will have invalid journal category, invalid currency code, invalid segment one. Again, generate CSV GL interface file again page one. Search with import journals, data file here. 